Try to focus on the plane. It's hard to do, isn't it? What's up everybody? You're watching Model Aviator. My name's Adam and this week we have got a fun flight for you with one of my favorite UMX airplanes of all time. The E-Flight UMX Waco. Now this airplane's been discontinued for quite some time now but Horizon Hobby still makes a lot of really cool UMX airplanes that you should check out. We'll tell you more about that and the UMX line in a moment. Right now let's take a closer look at this. Not every UMX plane has the level of detail the Waco has. You can tell they really put some time into this one. I think it's probably one of the most attractive Ultra Micros I've seen. So the UMX Waco, like most of the Ultra Micros today, is a convenient top loader. Got a super cool little brushless motor in there. It's amazing uh, that they can make technology that works so well, so small. That's a great little motor. Uh, it's got a little ESC and servo board with linear servos for your rudder and your elevator linear servos, one each for the ailerons. Uh, it, it's just amazing the, te the technology in these things. And I flew these airplanes before they had AS3X, which AS3X is gyro stabilization, essentially, or an accelerometer uh, stabilization to be, to be technical. Um, but at any rate, I flew the Beast, the UMX Beast. Uh, which was a Pitts Model 10, very aerobatic model, and it was a hot, twitchy mess. <laughs> um, big control surfaces, lots of throw. Uh, you really had to be an advanced pilot and be able to set an airplane up well. Took a lot of expo to make that thing fly okay. Then they came out with the Beast 3D, which was the same airplane, but with the brand spanking new AS3X stabilization, and it was groundbreaking. The difference is night and day. They build AS3X, at least they build it at the time, as it suppresses wind. It does, but it does so much more than that. The fact is, these airplanes are more locked in and more stable now than they ever would be without it, and they all fly great. Uh, this airplane flies so much bigger than it should. And that's really true of all of the airplanes in the UMX line. Um, Horizon Hobby, while you, they don't make this, they still make a lot of cool airplanes in that line. It'd be worth taking a look, seeing if they have something that might strike your fancy. There's so many advantages to these tiny little airplanes. They're easy to store. They're easy to transport. You can fly them just about anywhere. Uh, we fly ours at a pretty tight flying field, which is huge for this airplane, uh, to be honest. Any parking lot, any park, a soccer field, a baseball diamond, that's going to be more room than you will ever need. Uh, if you're a halfway decent stick and you're flying one of them that's as slow as this one can fly, you can actually fly it in a front or backyard if it's a halfway decent size. So a lot of advantages to them. We're going to show you how great they fly right now with this one. So check this fun flight out. Please like, comment, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. We have a lot of cool stuff coming in 2022 when you subscribe it helps us out and then that way you won't miss anything that we come up with this year it's going to be pretty awesome so hopefully we'll see you all next week take care
Ultra Micros like this Waco fly really, really good. One of the things I always forget, if it's been a while since I've flown one, is how much power you rely on in maneuvers. Right there, you saw me kind of fall out of the loop. That's because I forgot that with an Ultra Micro, you have very little mass, which means very little retained energy, and without momentum, to get through a lot of maneuvers, you have to rely more on power. Once you figure that out and adapt to it, you can really present an Ultra Micro well and do some pretty cool stuff with one. We have a little bonus footage coming your way. Some fun stuff you don't want to miss, so stick around. Doing a little slip pass here for you. Bobble it a little bit, but it'll do. The series of flat turns here I actually came fairly close to Heidi. Pretty awesome job by her to stay with it. Now here, I'm going to do a long extended low knife edge. Things really controlled, but it's a lot more capable than you think it is. Now this is pretty funny. I took off here and notice as I got towards the far end of the field there were two deer, two does, standing at the far end of the field. So naturally, I decided to fly down there and mess with them. And there they are. That one sees me coming. And they're out of here. And with that, so are we, folks. 
We really appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tune in next week. We've got something special for you. Take care.